you. Thank you for standing up. That is my job. It's great to be here. Thank you so much. Uh, I appreciate it. Thanks, everybody. Just going to say thanks for five minutes. I think that having kids is like doing drugs because it's not for everybody. You got to be in the right mindset. It costs a lot of money. There's peer pressure involved and it could ruin your life. Like those are some of the possibilities. <laughs> like I haven't had kids, but I've done drugs and I recommend drugs to more people than I recommend kids. Like, I think we've all seen people with kids and thought you should have done drugs instead. That would've been better for everybody. We've never seen a person on drugs and thought kids would be the answer, right? That's uh, like, I, didn't, I didn't even do that many drugs. I just started smoking pot when I was 24. Didn't even like it. People hear that sometimes, they're like, boo, you don't like pot? Boo, which is a weirdly aggressive way to be pro-relaxation. <laughs> if you're yelling at somebody for doing pot wrong, I feel like you're also doing pot wrong. Like, some people say don't do drugs, but they haven't done most of the drugs. They probably did one, which is like saying, don't eat foods if you only had one food. <laughs> like, I had a sweet pickle, we're not gonna enjoy eating. You know what I mean? Like, I tried baby corn, grow up. You know what I mean? Like, I don't... You can't judge a whole category based on one element of the category. You can't watch one Nicolas Cage movie <laughs> and then decide every movie must be amazing, right? You can't do that. <laughs> that guy has made a number of enjoyable movies. You know how he did it? He made a much larger number of total movies. <laughs> like if you have a million monkeys working on a million typewriters, they will come up with Con Air and Face Off before they get to Shakespeare. That's definitely true. <laughs> you can check the discard pile. Oh, that's nice of you. You're nice. Everyone's nice. <laughs> Nicolas Cage, Academy Award winner. They can't take that away from him, much as anyone might like to. <laughs> it's not like an old man's driver's license. We're like, hey, uh, you used to be good at this. We are gonna need that back now, though. <laughs> you are hurting people with your vehicles. So, one of my favorite kinds of movies is the twist and turn variety, like Twister or Turner and Hooch. And I have a new buddy cop movie between a tornado and a dog. It's called Twister and Hooch. The twist is that Hooch is the tornado, Twister's the dog. Not important, but... <laughs> Usual Suspects, one of the first twist ending movies I ever saw, blown away at the end. Didn't even know I was supposed to be... It was, I didn't know it was a mystery. Like, it was a mystery to me that it was a mystery. If you're like, what kind of movie is this? I'd be like, it's a mystery. Oh, it's a mystery? I don't know. I don't know what I'm talking about. You know what I mean? Like... I, I was blown away. That, those movies are so great. They make you feel dumb, but just, and you're happy. Because you're like, oh, ignorance is bliss. Thanks, I don't get it. <laughs> every once in a while, you see one of these movies, you get to the end of the movie, and you figured it out. You actually, every step of the way, you're like, oh, I think I see you're not going to trick me, movie. You want me to think that? It's actually this. You feel real good about yourself. Every step, every plot twist, predicting what's going to happen. You're so proud of yourself to get to the big twist surprise finale at the end, revealing you already saw that movie once and forgot about it. So, <laughs> turns out. One time I saw one of those twist ending movies, twist at the end, turned out to be, it had been written and directed by M. Night Shyamalan. I was like, no! <laughs> he has not written a good one since The Village! <laughs> twist ending of that joke is, I turn out to be Aziz Ansari. And, uh, <laughs> oh, that's... I like him too. So the point is, don't do drugs, because it'll make you forget movies, and also your original point. So here's why I don't like pot. Pot, best case scenario, makes me go to sleep, which I can do by myself every day. <laughs> Don't need you, pot. Worst case scenario makes me forget every sentence that I'm in the middle of while I'm in the middle of the sentence that I'm in the middle of while I'm in the middle of the sentence. <laughs> like, here's me on pot at a party. Like, will you say again the thing that you just said? And then I'll know why I started to say the thing that I just said. <laughs> if you go first, then I'll go first. <laughs> you first, then me first. Why are you not going? Are you not my friend? Are you a cop? <laughs> Am I a cop? Is anyone a cop? Here a cop, there a cop. Anywhere a cop cop. Old McDonald was a cop. E-I-E-5-0. -E Are you an undercover cop? Am I an undercover cop? Am I so far undercover I had to get high to prove to you I'm not undercover, <laughs> but I got so high that I forgot I was undercover? Is my undercover over? What's the over under on whether my undercover is over? Are you an overcover cop? Is that a robocop? Am I a robot? Can a robot get high? That's me on pot every time into a mirror. See what I'm saying? Like, how did you know what I was gonna say? How did I know what you were gonna say? How did you? How did I? How did you? How did I? Let's just shake on it. Ow, 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 ow. That's why I don't like pot, because it hurts my fingers. It is still better than kids, though. Surprise ending. Thanks a lot, everybody.